the heart to the Kashmir belongs to the heart of Pakistan. Kashmir is Pakistan and Pakistan is Kashmir. We firmly believe that Kashmiris must be given their right of self-determination according to the United Nations Charter and according to the United Nations Security Council resolutions. We reject with contempt the unilateral actions that have been taken by India on 5th of August. These are unilateral actions, they are illegal actions, they are unjust actions. They are happening in an environment, they are happening in an environment where there has been an attempt to suppress the Kashmiri people. There were already 700,000 Indian military and paramilitary troops in Kashmir. 700,000. India inducted another 185,000 troops before 5th of August. So there are now close to 1 million Indian troops in the valley. There are 1 million Indian soldiers. This is the highest ratio of troops to civilian anywhere in the world. Kashmir literally has been turned into a prison. It has been turned into a concentration camp. And therefore, the Genocide Watch, which is an international organization, has rightly pointed out that of all the 10 indicators that it has for a genocide alert to be issued, Kashmir has actually ticked all 10 of them. This kind of a brute suppression of the people in the 21st century has no parallel. Today is the 52nd day and they are using a very polite word, lockdown. <coughs> lockdown actually means curfew. Curfew means you cannot get out of your home. This means you cannot go to the hospital. This means you cannot go to the school. This means you cannot go out freely of your own wish. It, there is no telephone line. There is no internet. There is no connectivity. 52 days and still counting. And therefore, this kind of an action cannot go unnoticed. And you have seen that for the first time, there are voices now, real voices in the world, which are beginning to question this facade, the veneer that the, the Indians had put up. Because they had a, an image of Gandhi, the peace-loving man, the non-violent man. But the reality, I'm telling you, is the kind of a force that they are using. They are using panic guns against innocent civilians. Washington Post, has recently called this use of parrot guns as the greatest mass grinding in human history. Because more than 10,000 people have been hit, more than 247 people have lost their eyesight. There have been use of cluster bomb munition across the line of control into the civilian population. So Pakistan stands with Kashmir. Kashmiris are fighting for their freedom. They are not children of any less God. They deserve everything that anybody else in this face of the earth <coughs> deserves and desires. And I have no doubt that inshallah Pakistan will stand by them and inshallah Kashmir will achieve what it is destined to achieve, inshallah. <coughs> on that side is having subjugated, having raised a different flag. What that means is taking away the identity of the people. And that's the worst form of terrorism you can do. Take away the identity of the people. Also, by Article 35 Alpha, they want to change the demography of the area which means the people from outside the Kashmir, which for 72 years were not able to go and settle and could not buy property, could not
not buy land because this was an exclusive disputed territory and an exclusive zone. That restriction has been removed. <coughs> Unfortunately, the statements of some of the leaders regarding what they do want to do, and my sisters and my, you know, uh, and my daughters are sitting here with the Kashmiri woman is something that I can't even say on this forum in the kind of a glee that they are actually projecting. <coughs> this real face of India stands today fully exposed. It stands exposed because this is based upon an ideology which is based upon what RSS believes in, what Bajrangan believes in, what Hindu Vishwa Parishad believes in. No matter what political face that you give, because this believes in the ideology of Hindwata. And Hindwata ideology means they believe in the purity of their blood. They believe in Lebensraum for themselves, greater space, as Hitler used to believe. They believe in the superiority of their identity. And anybody else, whether it is Christian, Muslim, Dalit, Sikh, is something that has to be excluded from that polite. So I personally believe that in the modern world, with the kind of communication that we have, this kind of a lockdown cannot be maintained forever. And therefore, this expose of the Indian uh, design and their variety will come into play. As far as Pakistan is concerned, to conclude, I think our way forward is a collective approach as a nation. We require a national response to national challenges. And that's what I call as the collective approach. We require a revitalization of institutions and norms so fundamental to the processes of the state. That requires trust and accommodation. And that also requires bilateral and multilateral mechanisms, one of which I am here today. <coughs> Let me share with you. <coughs> Ten years ago, Pakistan was in active collaboration as far as military training was concerned with 15 countries. Today, we are dealing with 56 countries. It is becoming difficult for us to manage the calendar space and the physical space to train and to entertain the request of training from other countries of the world. This is the kind of connectivity that we have developed with other parts of the world. We will do what it takes to inshallah take our nation forward. I won't end because we started with Quran, with the uh, Namaz and, and Azan, by just by saying, thank you so much for coming. I'm delighted to see you. You are, you carry the flag of Pakistan. And for me, the flag of Pakistan is the most important thing to carry. When we bury our Shaheed, we bury him in the flag of Pakistan. So when I say you carry the flag of Pakistan, both as men sitting here and the women sitting here, I give you the highest honor. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Today you have come here and you have listened to General Zubair's interview. So I want to ask you, why do you watch so many people every day, so many army people who are doing their work on their own? So if you want to say something about that, please. For example, for us, there is no more than Pakistan army. The only thing that is in Pakistan is only in the army. And you should think and see how many people are giving our young people in the morning and they are uncalled for. Please, you should recognize it and you should recognize it. से मोहब्बत करें और इसी तरह से अपने वतन को सपोर्ट करते जाएं ताकि हम एक अच्छी नेशन बन सके थैंक यू सो मच